So now we're going to do the different types of skirts that we can do for our little figurine. Now, most of you, if you have done my standing princesses, are very familiar with the skirt that allows the princesses to stand up by themselves and you um, add them to it with uh, the use of a spoon. So that is um, one option. Now you can do that with your monster loom at monster tail or you can do that on a standard loom. With the standard loom I have a video already made and I will do an annotation in this video to link you directly to that and it will open a link in a new window so that you don't mess up where you're at on this particular video. So I will show you how to do this particular skirt on the monster tail. Now the other one is a shorter version of it. This one is 16 rows. This one is 10. So it's pretty easy for you to work out. If you want a short one, you stop at 10. If you want a longer one, you go on to 16. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start uh, by taking white bands and doing a figure eight. So you place your band one side on the peg and you twist it into a figure eight. Some of you will call that an infinity loop. And we go all the way around like this. Twisting it on each of the eight pegs. Now this is the only time that you will need to do a row that has twisted bands. So we've done our twisted bands like that. Next we'll do yellow and you just place them over the two pegs all the way around. like that. Make sure you push everything down. These little monster tails I have to say are a little bit underwhelming. They um, have a very short peg and the lip of them is not huge so it's very easy for the uh, bands to fall off. So that's layer two. Layer three I'm going to do is white again. all the way around. Now after this layer of white every single layer is going to be yellow. Well that's my choice. You can make them any colour you want. It could be rainbow for all I care. <laughs> I like rainbow by the way. Rainbow is my daughter's favourite colour. <laughs> All right, so we have three rows. We're going to take the two bottom bands and lift them up and over and off and push everything down. Don't forget to push everything down because otherwise you end up with bands falling off the top and that does get a little bit irritating. So here we go. Now, when you get back to the beginning again, you're going to place another row. And, as I said, every single row after this is going to be yellow. You have to bear with me, I'm doing this left-handed, and I'm actually right-handed. <laughs> as you can see, I'm not very good at it, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So this is our fourth row and again you're going to take the bottom two and lift them up and over. Now I am going to let you pause the video and restart it again when you've either reached column ten, row, I'm sorry not column, row 10 or row 16. 
I'm going to go through till row 16 and do the long standing skirt but if you choose to do the shorter one first that's up to you as well so pause the video and I will catch you back at row 16 hopefully you've paused the video I have cheated and I have got one here where I'm at row 16 <laughs> And so I am going to, I've laid the, the bands for my row, I'm going to take the bottom two and lift them up and over. And we do that all the way around. So you end up with four bands left on each peg. Like that, push them down. Now we're going to take the next two, which will leave us then with two bands on each peg. And as I said, there is a video on my channel on how to do this on your single loom. It's very easy, so please don't fret, you can still do this. Taking a hook you're going to gather all of these bands, the two bands per peg, onto your hook. Like that. And here we have our skirt. I'm going to take two of the yellow bands, tie them together like that and I'm going to place one end on my hook and I'm going to slide all of these loops over onto those two bands make sure you don't make it too loose because if you do we will lose bands I'm going to put mine on my finger so I don't uh, drop it by mistake and I'm just going to pick these over the jelly bands so they're a bit slimy there we go, pull that through like that now I'm going to reclaim the end of my band onto my hook take one over the other and then I'm going to place my hook under the other like that I'm going to tie this in and not stop laughing those of you who know me know I'm useless tying knots. So there is our skirt. Now this is where we start using a spoon and we slide our skirt over the spoon and you can pretty up how these are spread out like this and at this stage this is where you would decide you are going to put your doll in your dress. Now this is where having no legs comes in very handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her legs off. So I'm going to slide one leg out like that and I'm going to grab both bands onto my hook because I definitely do not want to lose these like that. I'm going to do this, I'm going to hit the camera, I'm going to do the same on the other side place my hook through the bands that I used to tie it with, undo it, place my hook through the bands and reclaim. And I just tie these up. As I said, use a twisty tie, um, use a C-clip, whatever you like, it doesn't matter as long as they are secure on some sort of clip. So there's one. Twisty ties work very well for me actually, I have to say. Until I remembered I had these and I'd never used them for anything. So there's my legs. I'm going to put them to one side. She doesn't need those. All I'm going to do is slide her torso into the skirt and pull it out. Now I just raise her up so that she's at the right level. This little loop at the back here, 
I'm going to poke my hook up the back of the skirt and grab that little loop and pull it back through the inside so that it's not as conspicuous. There we go. So she's in her... Do you recognise her? <laughs> so there she is. Oops, toppling over. There she is in her standing skirt. And I'm, I keep knocking her with my fingers. There we go. So there she is in her standing skirt. It, as you can tell, it's, it's snow white. Now, if we wanted to do a different type of skirt, as I said, if you finished at 10, you would still leave her legs on. And you would slide her on with the spoon. But when, when it's just in the long skirt, you don't actually need the legs. Now, she could decide to wear a tutu. And if she does, all you need to do is make six or seven of these leaves. I, I call them leaves because I actually use them for the Tinkerbell dress. So double band, have a standard offset. You're going to put two and two and another two and then you're going to put two here and using an end cap wrap it once and twice and place that here now you can fit two more here I've actually done my little column of them here and they're on my holding hook so you need to do seven six or seven of these I'm doing seven I'm going to go under my end cap if I can find the spot there we go you loop it across and then you loop that one up and this one up grab the two bands, take them off the loom and put them over here, this side, on top of those others. Then dig down and find those two bottom bands and there you have your little leaf. Now pause the video because you need to make six more of these. All right. Now once you're back Let's have all of these on the same pay, uh, same hook, so that we can do this. <laughs> that was that was clever. I don't think I've ever done that before. Let's have them all on the same hook. On the hated holding hook that I have. Now, taking a single band, place it on the end of your hook, and you're just slowly, without ripping your hands off on this foul hook, <laughs> sliding all of these over onto a single band. Move these little stragglers up, come on. Don't hang about at the back. Okay, so once I have them all on that band, I need to reclaim the front of the band like that. So I have them all bunched on. I'm then going to take this the band that's closest to me up, over, and off. So I have one loop there. Now this little leaf is the closest to that loop. I'm going to spray the loop open and I'm going to pop it over that little leaf and that is going to act as its anchor. Okay, so we have this little flower shape like that. This is going to act as our tutu. Now obviously you can't put it on when she has no legs and let's stretch her out a bit and get her back into shape. There we go. So what we need to do is add her legs back on. Easy peasy. Put your hook through the front of the leg. Now remember you have to watch out which side you're going. Hold the other end 
go through the front to the back grab those bands so that you have flesh blue flesh bring it through take the two closest to you up over and off spread it out and pop the shoe through like that okay and you can just pretty it up how you want there we go I'm going to take the other one off again make sure you have it facing the right way put one, one side on your hook go through the bands at the back grab the other side of your bands reclaim them push from the back to the front grab the two bands closest to you up over and off splay these out and pop the leg through so we now have both legs back on her and you're just going to stretch the tutu out and pop her legs through and pull up now obviously you can make this whatever color you like it really doesn't matter but there you have Snow White in a little tutu and as I said you can make one this size as well so there we have our build a doll, our build a girl, build a princess, <laughs> the detachable girl. I hope you enjoy making her and have some fun with some uh, different costumes. I really look forward to seeing how yours turn out. Take care. Bye bye.